Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I thought it was about time that I gave a bit of an update on where we are with the whole reset uh, agenda, which I um, set forth at the annual meeting last month. Thank you, everyone, for those who've been involved in uh, the various consultations we've had. Thank you for the overwhelmingly positive response that I've had to the suggestions that we've made. Uh, we've now discussed them further at the wider leadership meeting and at the PCC um, last night. So there's still a lot of things that are uncertain. There's still a lot of things that will have to be in the um, experimentation uh, category. And I think we're into an era where that will be the case uh, moving along, moving forward for some time. I'm also very aware that as we emerge tentatively and slowly from the pandemic, that different ones of us find ourselves in different places, some much more confident and uh, uh, ready to engage with new stuff, full of energy, others drained, exhausted, um, still very tentative and concerned uh, and nervous about moving forward. And we need to respect one another in that. Within that context, there's just a few things that we've now agreed on. We've been saying for some time that we are uh, a community of disciples on the adventure together of becoming more like Jesus. And we want to just make the statement that we're adding to that and helping others to do the same. Uh, what we say is important, the language we use. And it's important to remind ourselves that in all that we're doing, it's not just about us, but our calling to help those who don't yet know Jesus. And also our calling to help one another uh, go further on our discipleship journeys. One of the ways in which we help the outsider I believe, is making our facilities uh, more suited uh, to help those come in from outside. And that's where the building project comes in. And it's still important, I believe, for us to press ahead on that. Please be thinking about your giving and also your praying. We will be upping the prayer ante. Watch this space uh, in terms of praying that money in and praying that project forward. We've agreed that we need to be thinking a lot about young adults and how we um, engage with them and therefore having a focus uh, on reaching out to young adults in our community. We've also been thinking uh, about the power of small, how the pandemic has taught us that doing things in small groups uh, is probably a really powerful way of reaching forward where relationships have been built. We've seen that uh, shown in a few different examples like Alpha and Little Ones but I think it's something that we should be thinking about more as we move forward in different uh, groups. When it comes to groups, we're obviously thinking about, um, uh, I've mentioned uh, renaming our roots groups. They've been roots groups for about 15 years um, and moving towards calling them life groups. Uh, this isn't just a cosmetic thing. It's recognising that our discipleship is about our whole lives. So actually how we help each other do life. I think is an important strap line for our life groups. Um, uh, that's been embraced by, by many people uh, as we endeavour to move forward with that. And, and life groups might not be necessarily the traditional size of somewhere between eight and 16 people. I think that will still be the norm, but it may just be for those of you for whom that doesn't seem right, who, who prefer to get your accountability and your support in triplets or smaller groups. Well, let's call those uh, life groups as well. That's perfectly OK. Um, and then Sundays. Uh, we're moving forward uh, with 10 o'clock service, uh, the online service, which, as you can see, is now uh, operating as a live feed uh, and also a six o'clock service. We've talked about that being a 5.30 or a 6. At the moment, we just have the 10 and the online uh, live feed. Um, as numbers increase, um, we will move to add the 6 o'clock in as well, which is when we'll start doing the young people's work, the, the teens' work, the younger children's work will still happen in the morning. How long that will be for? I don't know, whether, but certainly for the foreseeable future. Uh, when the evening will start, again, um, uncertain at the moment, but in my mind, I'm thinking probably... Uh, September. The other thing really just to say is I think the next season is going to be one about belonging and what the shape of our belonging looks like. Um, belonging is such an important aspect and uh, of what it means to be the body of Christ, how we all belong to one another. We're there to support one another, to help one another, to be accountable to one another. 
and I think it's important over the coming months that we have what I might call a bit of a push on that. So we'll be doing some work to try and get to know you better, to find out where you're at on your discipleship journey, to find out how you sense you belong, where you sense that you fit in to the body of Christ here at Christ the King. Uh, so watch this space. There's lots more happening as well. Um, I'm also aware as we move forward, as I've said before, it's important that we, re we retain a degree of simplicity and not try to suddenly do everything that we used to do before. Um, but let's keep moving forward together. Let's keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author of and perfecter of our faith. Let's look out for one another. Let's look out uh, for those uh, on the outside as well. Uh, as we move forward, being a community of disciples on the adventure together of becoming more like Jesus and helping others to do the same. And as we do so, going deeper in our devotion to God, closer in our connection with one another and further on our front lines with the good news of Jesus Christ. May you know God's blessing today and always.